In the world of modern naval warfare, stealth, endurance, and precision have become the defining characteristics of undersea dominance. Among the elite class of non-nuclear submarines, one vessel consistently rises to the top. The German-built Type 212 submarine, designed by ThyssenKrupp Marine Systems and operated by the German Navy and its allies, the Type 212 has set the benchmark for Air Independent Propulsion AIP, submarines. With its revolutionary technology, extreme stealth, and expanding influence in Europe and beyond, the Type 212 is widely regarded as one of the most advanced diesel-electric submarines ever built. The story of the Type 212 begins in the late 1990s when Germany sought to replace its aging fleet of Type 206A boats with a new generation of submarines capable of extended underwater endurance and lower acoustic signatures. Unlike nuclear-powered submarines, which can remain submerged for months, conventional diesel-electric submarines typically must surface or snorkel to recharge their batteries every few days, making them more vulnerable to detection. The German Navy wanted to change this paradigm, and with the Type 212, they did. One of the defining features of the Type 212 is its use of Air Independent Propulsion, or AIP. Instead of relying solely on diesel engines and batteries, the Type 212 uses hydrogen fuel cells that allow the submarine to generate electricity while remaining completely submerged for weeks at a time. The system is virtually silent, producing none of the mechanical noise associated with diesel engines or the heat signature of nuclear reactors. This gives the Type 212 a level of stealth unmatched by any non-nuclear submarine and in some conditions even quieter than its nuclear power counterparts. The original Type 212A, as it is officially designated, measures around 184 feet in length and displaces approximately 1,800 tons submerged. It has a top submerged speed of around 20 knots and can dive to depths exceeding 700 feet. Its operational range exceeds 8,000 nautical miles, depending on mission profile, and it can remain underwater for more than two weeks without surfacing. The combination of size, range, and stealth makes it ideal for operations in both coastal waters and the open sea. What makes the Type 212 even more remarkable is its integration of cutting-edge electronics, sensors, and weapons systems. The boat is equipped with a state-of-the-art flank array sonar system, passive and active sensors, and periscopes with infrared and low-light imaging. It can detect and track enemy ships and submarines while remaining completely undetected itself. In terms of armament, the submarine features six 533mm torpedo tubes, capable of launching DM-2A4 heavyweight torpedoes, one of the most advanced wire-guided torpedoes in the world. It can also deploy naval mines and, in some variants, even fire anti-ship missiles. The Type 212 is not just a German success story. Italy has co-developed and operates four of these submarines under a cooperative agreement with Germany, forming the foundation for joint European naval capability. Italy's Todaro-class submarines are virtually identical to the Type 212A, sharing the same AIP and combat systems. This level of interoperability reflects a broader trend in European defense integration where shared platforms allow for joint training, logistics, and deployment strategies. The evolution of the Type 212 continues with the advent of the Type 212CD, the common design version. Developed jointly by Germany and Norway, this upgraded model marks a significant leap in capability aimed at countering increasingly sophisticated threats in the Arctic and North Atlantic. The 212CD submarines will be larger, around 240 feet in length, with a displacement of over 2,500 tons submerged. This extra space allows for expanded sensor arrays, additional payload capacity, and improved crew accommodations for longer missions. The Type 212CD will feature a new stealth-optimized hull design that further reduces its acoustics and magnetic signature. 
One of the most intriguing elements is the incorporation of a new optronic mast system that replaces traditional periscopes with advanced sensors that can be raised or lowered without compromising hull integrity. It will also integrate a combat management system developed by Kongsberg, tailored specifically for Arctic and Northern maritime environments. With the first boats expected to enter service in the late 2020s, the Type 212CD is poised to dominate the next generation of conventional submarines. When comparing the Type 212 with other non-nuclear submarines, its advantages become even clearer. Take the French Scorpene class submarine, for instance. While the Scorpene is a capable and export-friendly platform used by several navies, it typically uses less advanced AIP systems and does not match the stealth levels of the German boat. Similarly, Sweden's Gotland class submarines, which were the first to optionalize AIP in the 1990s, are smaller and have less range, although they remain highly respected platforms. Another comparison often drawn is with the Japanese Soryu-class submarines and their successor, the Taigei-class. These submarines are also at the forefront of diesel-electric technology, using lithium-ion batteries instead of traditional lead-acid types. While this gives them a high degree of endurance and performance, the hydrogen fuel cell technology used by the Type 212 is still considered quieter and more sustainable over long missions. Furthermore, the Soryu class has a larger crew and is designed for different strategic contexts, making direct comparisons complex. What sets the Type 212 apart is its holistic approach to stealth, survivability, and mission flexibility. It's not just the propulsion systems or the quiet running. It's the entire ecosystem of design choices that prioritize undetectability. Its use of non-magnetic steel for the hull minimizes its vulnerability to magnetic anomaly detectors and naval mines. Even its communication systems are optimized to reduce emissions, employing burst transmission and satellite data links that minimize the chance of triangulation. Another advantage is the platform's modular architecture. As naval warfare evolves with greater emphasis on unmanned systems, cyber resilience, and multi-domain integration, the Type 212 can be easily updated. Future iterations may incorporate unmanned underwater vehicles, advanced electronic warfare packages, or long-range standoff weapons, turning the submarine into a true force multiplier. Despite its small size, compared to nuclear-powered giants like the U.S. Navy's Virginia-class or the U.K.'s Astute-class submarines, the Type 212 excels in what it was built for – coastal defense, intelligence gathering, special forces delivery, and fleet support in confined or contested waters. In the complex geography of the Baltic Sea, the Mediterranean, or even the Norwegian fjords, it has no peer. In terms of operational record, Type 212 submarines have participated in a range of NATO and multinational exercises, proving their interoperability and resilience in realistic combat simulations. German U-boats have operated side-by-side -side with American and British forces, often playing the role of enemy submarines in training scenarios, and consistently outperforming expectations by sinking major surface vessels without detection. These exercises are not just demonstrations, they are proof of the Type 212's tactical edge in real-world conditions. The strategic impact of the Type 212 extends beyond its battlefield capabilities. In an era where naval expansion is often centered around larger, more expensive nuclear platforms, the Type 212 offers a cost-effective alternative with remarkably high performance. Its relatively low operating cost, combined with its cutting-edge technology, makes it an attractive choice for middle powers seeking to defend their maritime interests without the political and financial burden of nuclear propulsion. The submarine also serves as a symbol of German engineering excellence and defense innovation. As the European Union seeks to build a more coherent defense identity, platforms like the Type 212 represent shared capability, shared doctrine, and shared responsibility.
With exports to countries like Italy and Norway and growing interest from other European nations, it is becoming a cornerstone of continental maritime defense. Looking to the future, the role of submarines like the Type 212 will only grow more important. As global tensions rise in key maritime choke points, the need for stealthy, resilient, and autonomous capable submarines is increasing. Whether monitoring underwater cables, shadowing enemy vessels, or launching precision strikes, the Type 212 is well equipped to adapt and thrive in these new operational environments. In conclusion, the German Type 212 submarine is far more than just another entry in the long lineage of undersea vessels. It is a pioneer in silent running, an exemplar of modular design, and a symbol of strategic foresight. With its revolutionary fuel cell propulsion, unmatched stealth, and growing international presence, the Type 212 has redefined what non-nuclear submarines can achieve. In the underwater realm where silence equals survival, it speaks volumes. What are your thoughts on the Type 212 submarine? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.